What is up, everybody? I'm back for some more Last Epoch playing here. Um, we did the first episode, we just did sort of like the intro stuff, and then we made our way to this village, um, which is where we're at right now. So, we just arrived out of the burning forest into this place. The map is really cool, everybody. I really like the maps. We're at the Keeper's Camp right now, which is a town. This place is quite big. I'm I'm genuinely impressed with how big the map is. Like, and it feels like a proper fantasy map, right? Like, I'm not sure what the era stuff means. I'm assuming this has something to do with the time travel. We're currently in the Divine Era. I'm assuming we're going to learn more about that as we get deeper into the storyline here. Um, any case, I'm genuinely enjoying this game so far. Which was a very pleasant surprise because I wasn't sure. I just knew that it was the latest ARPG. I saw Asmund Gold and some other people playing it. I was like, you know what, I should probably give this a shot. Um, Asmund and um, uh, Darth Microtransaction. Um, we're playing this, so I was like, I'm gonna give it a shot and see. I liked Diablo 4. Haven't, I didn't really care for, um, Path of Exile too much, but I'm hoping that the second one's gonna be more fun for me. Anyway, let's dive into this. We have a mission. Quite impressive. And you can zoom in too, by the way. If you go under the mouse, like you can bring it all the way in. Like the dog looks really cool, man. It's got like leather or bark armor on it. What what is this thing? Like with all the creepy hands coming out, man. What is this? Here Rots offered protection. More than protection. An alliance. But the truth is, we know little about him or his people. Why should the council trust him? Hero. Prospect One. He's one of the gods. Atera made him just as she made us keepers and gave him a role by her side. He's the guardian of his people and he does his job well. Prospect Two. He cares for his people. Like the goddess herself, he extends his heart to all who need support. He forms alliances, wanting to stand united. Meanwhile, Raya wishes to tear this world asunder. Prospect 3. His people are warriors. Hairborean fighters put us to shame. We fight because it is necessary while they relish in it. I'll take on being behind their blade any day. Thus, I propose we accept this alliance. It is not in our nature, but we keepers have a sacred duty to uphold. Without Herot's help, our efforts might prove fruitless. Okay. Sounds are. like their leaders waiting up at the shrine. This is the grail guy who met The keepers earlier. have done well. This place isn't too different from home. So who are the keepers exactly? A group tied closely with our goddess, Etera. They've been indebted to her, but why, we do not know. Even their name is... Well, what do they keep? Do they adhere to another god, or just her? It's these mysteries that interest the Ospricks. Whatever secrets the Keepers hold, I'm sure Raye wants them. Now, we What's speak next? to the Keeper Council. Speaking of, I must head there now. Feel free to look around. I'll see you shortly. All right. We have another quest now to speak with Keeper Lena in the Keeper's camp. Those things are so creepy, man. What do we got up here? I'm not gonna touch that quite yet. Who are you? Hello, traveler. Chronomancer. New specialized mastery point allocation. Do not dwell on the regrets. 
my stash box. Okay. Same stash box? I'm guessing so. You are armor. Mm. Let's see what you got. Right. Why not? Why not? I should buy it now. How do I just buy it? There we go. Um, I don't have any gloves yet. Let's do it. Why not? I don't have any reason not to spend money. It's enough for now. Room of Shattering. I don't know what that means. And let's go ahead and sell. The hide boots. Armor and more boots. Also, let's um, hold on to the spear for now because I might change it. I haven't tried the wand yet. Impossible. Just hit the wrong one. Uh, sorry. Damn it. Not what I want. Hmm. No! Pick those up. There we go. <laughs> I accidentally threw them on the ground. It's Y. Yeah, I hit X and it dropped it. Right. right. Hmm. Keeper Lena is just ahead. She's busy speaking with the Hevorian ambassador about the peace talks. What about the peace talks? Keepers are in need of aid. We're not strong enough to fight off Raya's forces. The Hebrides have offered an alliance. We need their help. We don't want to be swept up in a war that's not our own. Why would be likely too late for that? Now. Thank Etera. I will go check that out, but what was this? Oh, this is like the fast travel waypoint thingy. Copy that. Music's been pretty good. Ooh, that's a new area. And this is a quest lady. And this is blocked probably. Mm. Yep. That's it. So we are meant to talk to her right now. Grail was just telling me of your battle. I am Lena, one of the Keeper's Council. I totally re just realized that I'm playing on online mode and not offline mode this time. I played the first session offline. Grail was just telling me of your battle. I am Lena, one of the Keeper's Council. One of two. There should be more of us here. I assume something happened. Yes, both us and I remain, and he's not here. As such, I must ask for your help. Okay. Balthus is busy checking on our sacred artifacts. We're protectors of Atera's history, and right now, they're in danger. What can you tell me about the artifact? Not much, I'm afraid. We'll discuss it after our alliance. So, not much because you don't know anything, and therefore we're going to investigate it together after the Alliance, or not much because you're not going to tell me anything until after the Alliance because they mean two totally separate things. And now I'm sus. Like, I'm doing you a favor, lady. You are, and I'm sorry, but this is how it must be. Their secrecy keeps them safe. Even now, the Osprix swarm all of our sacred vaults. I've already asked Grail to check one down in the mountains. There is another up north, where Balthus is. Could you make sure he's safe? There's word of a drake patrolling the skies. Got you covered. Do this, and our alliance is secure. We'll lend our aid to heal Borea's army. Sounds like I've got some work to do. So 
it's pulsing over here in the fortress garden. That's a really cool piece of concept art. Alright. You can now use your portal to return to your last visited town. Very cool. Oh, oh, oh. I think I have to completely leave to go back to offline mode. Yeah, I don't want to see chat right now. I also want to hide unknown social requests for sure. Alright. Technically, I want to be playing offline mode, but I think I have to log out completely. I don't know, I'm not yeah. recording. It prompted me the first time when I did it through Steam, and then this next time I just did it straight from the icon. Satisfying leap in a combat like that. Interestingly enough, though, I'm not. I don't seem to be using the wand that I have equipped. This, this is just the wand. You gotta be, it's pretty finicky when you do it this way. Two handed mace? Why do I always do that? I wanna equip it. Yeah, it's the same graphic no matter what, it just depends on what weapon you wanna use. Okay.
Come here. I need to pick this up. Okay. I actually just wanted the staff, but... Um... Yeah, yeah. Lightning damage. Hell yeah. Equip item. Alright. Our waypoint is pointing us over in this direction. The lightning crackle is pretty satisfying. Alright, that does feel pretty good. The fortress walls. I think this is where we're heading. According to the quest. Oh, what was that? Oh, I accidentally opened a portal. Yeah, don't do that. This doesn't matter. We'll set one later. Hang on, let me double check my map. Am I going in the right direction? Looks like it. Got something up in there. He's actually hit. I can have multiples. You know that. I got a brass scepter of stone. Lightning damage. Yes, please. Is that one handed? What does the forging potential mean? I don't know. I haven't learned what all that stuff means yet. What else is here? I can wield a shield at the same time? Yeah, but what? Is it just cosmetic? It doesn't appear that it's an actual block. No. Just an inherent block. Mm. 
quick commercial break, everyone, to celebrate and give thanks to all of these amazing people who keep me on the air full time. Really appreciate the support. All you got to do is join as a member. You get access to private videos. You can also do super thanks on any upload or super chats and stickers on any live stream or premiere you see. And beyond that, don't forget we're multi-streaming over on Twitch now, so you can support over there as well. Thanks so much to everybody. Let's get back to the video at hand. Hmm. There's too many of them. Head to camp with her. Just get stronger. They've invaded some old storage buildings into there. I'll look at them. That's a side quest. Oh, I'll take that. This direction okay however before we do and how do I do my passive again What quest do I have here? Let me check my quests. That's just a map. So that's zoomed in. How do I... Like, how do I select a quest? I mean, I know that's the infrastructure right there, but I was trying to get the... Oh, it's on my... Never mind, I'm purple and derping. There's like a quest tracker right there on my right. Idiot. What I was trying to do though, is see if there was a... Something to show me the entrance. Because you can see it, the name right there, but I was looking up on the map. Where we have the third quest. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button when I do that. Passes. We could dual wield as a <laughs> Dude, that's dope. Alright, um... That's nice. What about this? Primal is 5. Alright, so let's take the Hunter's Restoration. Oh, and you automatically get this one. Okay.
Potion slots. That sounds amazing. Okay. We'll let you jump over colliders. Impossible. Ooh. Would have been a lot cooler if I could. damage. I need to ditch the... I need to be a little more conscious about looting the crap. So, how do I drop? Drop. 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 I'm just dropping all the normies. Yeah, that's just like a white item, right? Yeah, bye. Dropping that. Alright. We're looking for this. Okay, that was the quest for the soldier. Oh, cool, and then there's like a little exit point right here. So we can just boogie on out and turn our quest in. They're gone. I should think. Yep. Get back to camp. Alright. Got another passive point to spend. Yeah, I think... That's a nice passive to have. Tempest Strike, melee combo attack. When do I when do I get like a 
Okay, that's interesting. Maelstrom. Yeah, it's when I get over here into the Druid line. That's when I get Spriggan form and stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah, Storm Crows. It's definitely an interesting, like, take on things. Because it's like a... It's, it's basically a... A melee druid. Totem thorns. It's very interesting if you wanted to go with the, the totem route. And then if I go the wolf route, which I'll probably I get to unlock this at level eight. I'm definitely gonna buff up my wolf. For sure. Okay. A little bit of thunder, a little bit mm -hmm. of lightning. Who are you? Keeper Lena sent me. Keeper Balthus is inside protecting the shard. The Osprex won't be able to pass through the inner door without a symbol of a terror, but they'll break down before long. I'll take them out. Here, I hit the symbol from them. It left me all thinking I was already dead. Take it. We'll unlock the door to the shard chamber. Please, help Balthus. I'm going in. But that's the next episode. So, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let me know that you're enjoying this by tuning in when the episodes are live. Or if you see me streaming, which happens daily here and on Twitch. Don't forget to check out all the playlists because I play a lot of different games. Check the Discord if you want to come hang out with us there. Get a copy of my latest fantasy novel. Links are down below. I'll see everybody in the next one. Stay safe. Happy gaming.